for joining us. I'm Sarah. And I'm Rachel. And we're Finders Keepers. And today we're going to be showing you um, a kit that we have put together. It's the cutest kit ever. <laughs> it's from Simple Stories. We got everything from Simple Stories. It's called Domestic Bliss. And we, we saw this line at Creativation. And kind of went berserk. Yeah. I think I, I squeed. Berserko. I went berserk. You squeed. I squeed. Yeah. There were various reactions. Crazy stuff going on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go back behind the camera, okay. though, because my knees I are going to go out in about two seconds. I think that's best. Holler so, if you need it. <clears throat> I wanted to show you how fast and easily you could put together this album. And I did do some prep work, and I'm going to you know, show you the basic steps. I would estimate this album would take you, I would say you could do it in, what did I say, Rach? You said a couple of weekends. A couple of weekends. So it's, in, but not working all day on it for two weekends. Like what the way I work, and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this. Is I have you know kids that are counting on me and family members are counting on me and then I have other people <clears throat> Rachel that counts on me. And, I don't count on you yeah. at all. So I'm I'm pulled away for, to various duties throughout the day. But well, like when I had a minute, I'd come in and I'd do another couple steps and get my way through the album. And in doing that, I think it took me about three days to do it. And so I think just about anybody could do it with that kind of timing in about four days. So over a couple weekends, you could get this great album. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, it's so cute. It's a little binder album. It's um, you get everything that you need except for adhesive and snips, right? To put together, and it's it's a good size album. It's got um, it's a six by eight, <clears throat> and you get all the papers you need. It has these dividers, these little chipboard dividers. It's got uh, pocket pages, so it is like Project Life, like pocket scrapbooking, um, or they what do they call it? Snap snap album. Snap packs. Snap packs. Yeah. No, the snap packs are the little paper things. Oh. These are the, um, the these are the, mm. the, the blah, blah, blahs. They're, you know, the they're, blah, blah. They're, they're, it's part of that snap line. So, it, yes, it it's is. your it's version of uh, <clears throat> Project Life or Pocket Scrap of Thing. And we've also added some things to it. Yeah. We've also added um, some recipe cards. We thought it would be fun if part of it was, like, putting some favorite recipes in there. So, um... Anyway, so this is the album. That's, it's uh, how many pages is it? It's 31 pages, and you just have pictures, you know, lots of places for pictures and cards. And I'm going to show you how I took this project that could be kind of daunting because all the pages are different sizes, and they all are different size photos and stuff, but how I broke it down into steps to make it kind of easy. So you can just kind of just follow along, and I'll actually have these steps laid out in a PDF on our website that you can pick up and see. So this is what we're going to do today. Yay! Right. Oh, this kit is for forty do price. Forty dollars. Yes, yeah. it's forty dollars. It's it's gonna be in our shop Monday. Monday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're we're kind of a small operation here. We we wear all the hats. So yes. behind the scenes, I'm writing blog posts and trying to get this up. So, but Monday uh, for sure. That's the, my promise. The PDF may be. Tuesday or I think I can do the PDF this weekend. I don't think okay. it's going to be that hard because you'll see the step. It's actually recursive. It's you just do, you go through and you do the same thing. You follow the same steps over and over and over. over and and when you do that about six times, you're done with your you're done with your album. Yeah. So, no, how many times? Well, it doesn't really matter how many times. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, you a, do few it times, a few times and you're done. <laughs> anyway, let me. And um, we're going to do the thing where, okay. We're going to do the thing where we're going to change the camera angle for you so that you can actually see me from the top what I'm working on. And it, it makes some people dizzy, and I know it does to me too when the camera starts jumping around. So we're going to do that. Close your eyes. Close we'll play some now. music for you, and we're going to change your perspective. And goodbye. So <laughs> here we go. Now we have what you get in this kit. Let's talk about that first. You get this um, album. And it's a chipboard album with a green cloth binding, and it has uh, some dividers in it. It's got three dividers. It's got... Um, Hold on, Sarah. We're wiggling. We haven't said... Okay. So you get several uh, pages. Um, you also get some uh, paper pages that are cute in various prints and what have you. Um, so it's that you get that album, and then you get... Um, you get a pad, a whole pad of six by eight um, paper that coordinates. It's all the domestic bliss line. And you get some more pages because we wanted to make sure you had enough pages to do everything that you wanted. So you get some more of these pages, different sizes, because you want it to be kind of, um, it's all about our everyday life, right? So you want it to be kind of like 
jumbly and casual, and so it's not like a real formal layout kind of scrapbook. Is it chronological? No, it is not. I didn't do it chronological either, and I'll tell you that when I talk a little bit about how I chose my photos, I didn't care. I'm not doing it in chronological order. I don't, I'm not doing about a single period in life. I'm doing it all over the place, so, and that makes it kind of fun, the layout. So you get um, three sheets of element paper that we cut up. Um... Oh, those are lovely. Yeah, they're really nice. And then, oh, whoops, wrong way. This is a, st <laughs> a cardstock sticker sheet, and this is the ribbon for the for the edge, you know, for tying on the cover if you like that sort of thing. Or you can use it as elements inside. I keep wanting to look up at this camera. Like, you can look up at it. <laughs> See, wave. <laughs> I'm Hello. so used to, like, looking at the camera. Okay, so that's what you get in the book. Oops. Now, um, I'll take that. Okay, you're going to take that. Thank you. So the first thing that I did was I went through my photos and I chose photos. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, I'll tell you, I, I um, have boxes of photos that are kind of loosely arranged by, um, by year. And I knew I, I knew I wanted to do some things with my kids that are, you know, kind of our life together. And I knew that I wanted it um, to be real casual and fun. So I, my rule was there was no weddings, no parties, no holidays, no vacations, just our everyday life. Mm -hmm. So I was looking for those kind of pictures. And I picked, I got pictures from when they were babies and I got pictures from when they were last week. Hey, Hi, Krista. Krista. <laughs> Thanks so for joining us. all different us. kinds of pictures. We built a, 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 a chicken coop together once and I got pictures of that and I remembered we had garden projects and I got those kind of pictures and when like we had house guests. So I just kind of grabbed some pictures. Now I needed about 40 to 45 pictures to complete this album, but I wanted to grab more than that because there's so many different size photos in this album. <laughs> How many photos did you pick, Sarah? Well, Rachel, I picked 109. I'm gonna be honest with you there. So I didn't use all the photos I picked, but that was great. I had choices I could make. Lots some photos choices. I needed to cut down, obviously to fit into like two by twos. There's like a, a many two by two pictures. I don't know if you can see. Oh, that's good. The yeah. two by two. Um, pockets. So um, I'll tell you about how I dealt with all the two by twos because nobody has that many two by two photos. Well, you make them. <laughs> but and I and I did, I worked a lot with the papers because they work really well in the two by two albums. So that's what I did first. The next thing that I did was I cut up all those element sheets I was showing you. So I had my four by fours and my three by fours and my four by sixes. So I had my three different sizes of papers, and then I had those ready to go, and I just kind of put those aside. And I want to tell you, I save everything when I'm scrapbooking just in case. So the little strips that you get on the edge of the paper, I save those too, because you never know if you want to cut those and like use it as some kind of element. I mean, maybe you will, maybe you won't, I don't know. And I'll tell you what else I saved. I'm gonna bring this album in again. I saved this because I had this idea, um, this piece of cardboard here and this other one that's the first page of this, it's a nice pe nice heavy piece of cardstock. This could be this could work for journaling. Oh, I could put yes. stickers on this and fussy cut them out and have um, like that's embellishments. brilliant. So I always save this stuff until I'm done. And then when I'm done, if I didn't use it or whatever I didn't use, I can toss, but you, I just hang on to it. So don't get rid of anything while you're working until you know for sure you don't need it. Um, that is a great tip. Right, so that is what I did for those. So, so I cut out the element sheets and then it was time for me to organize this album and I kind of wanted to do it in a, um, you know, not like in a, oh, here's all my two by two pictures and here's all my four by six pictures. So right. I wanted to kind of mix it up. And like I said, you get all these papers in this kit it's like really cute there's like this ledger paper that's kind of cool um there's stripes and there's like notebook paper there's all these different kinds of paper so but i didn't want all the paper together and i didn't want all my dividers together obviously so i put together an order because sarah has to mix it up i'm gonna mix it up that's right rachel so i did so i'm gonna just gonna put it i i went like oh okay here's my first divider my next page, I knew I wanted to start off right off the bat with a, um, with one of those crazy, oh, Rach, I need your help here. Okay. What are, you, um, are you throwing stuff? I am. I'm throwing things everywhere. She's just throwing things, you guys. I needed this two by two with all of these two by twos. So I wanted to do that one next. And um, 
Then I was going to do this. I wanted this four by six one that was kind of cool. Okay, so find it. Oh, here it is. And then I wanted this four by six one. And then I was and then going. You had a plain four by six. Yeah, right? yeah. And that one's kind of special because it's the only um, portrait four by six. And what I'm going to use it for are, is a recipe. I'm going to take a recipe and a recipe card and slide it right in there. And I'll show you that in a little bit. This will be my first recipe card. And then just a six by eight, just kind of plopping that in there. And then maybe I'll do like a, this is a four by four with a couple two by twos, just continuing on. Oh, paper. Um, the one with the at symbol, this one. This one, so there's this really cool paper. And this paper isn't like notebook paper weight, it's like a chipboard weight. So it's a heavy, heavy paper. It's heavier than uh, scrapbooking base page. It's like really heavy. Um, and then another couple four by sixes are gonna go in there. And then the polka paper. And then the second divider is gonna go next. And then this little, there's this little two by two one that goes here and um, a, pl a plain six by eight, just an open, where is it? Here, it's that one. Uh, no, I, there's a couple of them. Oh, okay. There, right here. And then I'm doing this one. I want to make sure, oh, and while I'm doing this, of course, I'm making sure that the pockets are at the top because the oh, first time I did this. <laughs> I didn't do that, and I ended up having to kind of take things out and rearrange them a little bit. But another, that's okay. Another we pro, learn, we learn, and we grow. Another pro tip there from um, Sarah. And then, okay, this one's kind of cool. It's got uh, three by threes, and then two two by twos, and then two three by threes. So you can see that the feel for this um, this this scrapbook is, is again, it's casual and kind of jumbled, and just like your everyday life, right? You're never, no one ever is like a hundred percent on their game. Rachel, did you just trick me trying to give me an upside down one? Was I, that, were you no, messing with me? I, I was going to say, yeah, I'm always 100% of my game. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's a good joke you got there. Isn't it? So then I'm putting another scrapbook paper. I'm going to actually do like traditional scrapbooking on these pages. These, This is an interesting one. These are two 4 by 4s and then it has a long 2 by 2 I mean, 2 by 8 Wait, nope, that's not the right one. Oh. I'm sorry. Just just four. Um, that that one. Sorry. So sorry. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm trying to get, I'm trying to confuse her and test yeah, her. Yeah, she's trying to help me by now messing it's that up. one. And now it's this one. So um, I put paper in here, but it would be possible. I think one of those panorama shots. Like if Ooh. you could, if you uh, could arrange it that way on your computer, you can work with your photos in InDesign or in your whatever photo app you use. Um, Grid paper to uh, adjust the sizes of your paper. Here's a grid paper that I'm gonna put in, and... I'm not sure what this one is. That's though. another one of those with the There's long pocket. One. There are two of them. Well, we'll find it. Yeah, we'll find we it, we're gonna keep going. Yeah, um, and, and then, then the polka dot, polka and then dot. the... On the edge, there's this cool polka dot paper that's right here. And then the, another divider, and now we're doing our last section of it, and it's gonna be um, four by sixes. That's not what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. See, you guys, I'm <laughs> testing her. She is <laughs> passing with flying colors. And then the chevron paper, and she is doing so well. Oh, hi, hey, Rebecca. Rebecca. What did you do to your foot, crazy lady? I'm going to call you later. Wait a minute, are you sure? Okay, yes. then the little three by three pictures. And then this is, this is that this one. one. Absolutely. Oops, I missed the little pocket, little hole there. Got to be careful with those little holes. Uh, I know you do. I'm learning how to use binders. That's good. <laughs> and then the ledger paper goes next. And then this one. And this one. And you guys, we're going to put together um, a, like a little PDF photo of her picture sketches so that you can have the exact same thing. If she, you want. Yeah, I just want to show you this because it's really cute. Yeah, I did this for my video today. I didn't have this when I was doing my album. I just did it today so that I could keep track of what I was doing and it's perfect. for you guys. And it's a nice, it's a nice kind of mix them up. 
There it is. There okay. it is. Well, we'll stick that in there because this yeah. one is going to be mine, but we're going to do from the magic of television. Right. So, um, <laughs> so what's next? Well, on first, your actually, list? I need, uh, can you just find where you this goes? Find where it goes? The next thing I was going to do, though, is sort through my papers. I have all these papers. It comes in a six bait pad. There's a ton of papers that this comes with. Again, guess what I'm going to do with this? Am I going to throw this away, Rachel? Uh, yes. No. 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 So Never. I, I'm going to keep this because, again, I might want to journal on this. I might want to put stickers on it. It may become an element of some kind. I don't know. It might be a photo mat. You know what? I don't know. You know what? Sarah, do you know what you're going to do with I that? I don't know, Rachel. And you want to know why? These papers, I have um, some of them, the prints are quite busy, like this gingham. Now, I, some of my photos that I had printed had white rims around them, so I kind of used that as the mat. As a mat? But you, okay. If you had a busy paper, but you had the perfect photo for it, you might want to use some of that white cardstock that's the packaging as a mat for that photo. You could totally do that. Ooh. Save yourself Sarah, some coin. we got another coin. viewer. Maribel's here. Oh, hey, Maribel. Okay, You're so. You're going to get this one, Maribel. We got $20 on you. <laughs> You don't have to, Maribel, if you don't want to. I just thought maybe because of Mar because of Mackenzie, but you know, whatever. Okay, so um, now I'm going to put aside papers that I know I want to use for the full for the full sheet of because some of these papers I'm going to cut up and some of them are going to be full. So the for the cover, what I need is this home sweet home, and I'll tell you what. Here's how it looks on this, and I put this on here, and I thought, you know what, I like that, but because the wood. And the craft color of the cover are kind of the same value. I kind of wanted something that would kind of make that pop a little bit. So here's what I did. I took this navy paper and I kind of, and I'm going to kind of offset it like that. I'm going to glue this right in place so it looks like this. So here's what it's going to look like when it's done, right? But guess what? I'm not, you're saying, Sarah, that's so wasteful. What about all that paper underneath there? Oh my God, Sarah, that's so wasteful. What about all that paper underneath there? Thanks, Rach. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> what I'm going to do is before I do that, I'm going to cut um, a four by six out of here. <gasps> Genius. And then I can have that paper as to put in the three by threes or to put in four by fours or whatever, wherever I want it in my album. So before I glue that down, I am going to trim that up. Very I'm going to need cool. these two sheets. So I'm going to put these sheets aside. That is brilliant, Sarah. And then on my inside cover here, I chose the polka dot print. The polka dot print? The polka dots. And I'm just looking for the polka dots. And I'm going to be saying that for the rest of the day. Polka, polka dots. dots. Polka dots. Polka dots. So that's really cute. Oh, no, I'm worried, though, because I love this messy bun and getting stuff done. But guess what? You get two of them, so I'm not worried. Wait, what? You get two of each of these sheets in yeah, this paper pack? Yeah, you do. You get two of each one. So no worries. This is going to go on this inside cover glued just like that. That's perfect. And then I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this because it's all about home. I'm going to put this right here, and I'm going to I'm gonna have some stickers that spell out love, and I'm going to put that right there. We're going to show you that in a little bit. So I'm going to save that piece of paper. And then the other side of this uh, divider is going to get this paper. So I'm going to save that one. And then this paper, I'm going to cut up. What? Yeah, I totally am. Because it's going to, I'm going to cut it up to, into two by two squares. So it fits in here and it makes just a nice. Oh, that's um, so cute. What do they call that? The like first, a mosaic. Yeah. And it's the first facing page of the book. And it kind of says, welcome. Welcome to my album. Please sit back and enjoy the ride. <laughs> Okay. Terminate ser sentados, por favor. And the other side. <laughs> yeah. And the other other Disney side, freaks here. Sorry. And the other side is really nice too. And then I can intersperse little photos. Give me your other papers, Sarah. My other papers. All your little cut up pieces. I'm oh, gonna I'm gonna oh. organize for you. Oh, thanks, Rach. Okay, here you go. Thank you. All right. So then keep you moving along. Um, so are you just doing the big pieces? I am. I'm just okay. doing the big pieces. Okay. So I'm going to find, I want another big piece that's going to go in, oh, this, this big six by eight. And it is going to be this gingham piece. And I have some photos that are going to look really nice on that. And that's the other side. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with that to make it kind of cool. Um, and then paging through, nice. go to the line, the back side of the lined paper I'm going to use Right here. I'm going to use this paper right here, and it's going to become a background for my photos on that page. But I wouldn't have to. I could just put stuff on here, and it's great. This is great for journaling in between photos because you already have your lines are all straight. Then on the polka dot paper, 
I'm going to kind of layer it with this just because I like it. I think it's kind of pretty, the greens and That's the floral with the polka dot. Yeah, but on the other side of the polka dot, I don't do anything so because it can work on its own as well. So this is just me being me. You can do whatever you'd like, but I'm just showing you what I, I'm going to do. And I'm going to put, I'm going to set aside this paper for right here. Um, and then on the other side of this divider, I, there's this really cute kind of succulent potted plants thing. It's very homey. I love the kind of hand-drawn elements of this paper. And it's going to be right there um, looking, you know, super casual. All right. Just like my home. Because I don't do any other kind of home but casual. And then... <laughs> This is, I love this paper. I think this is hilarious. It's gonna, I'm gonna slide it right in here. It's a, this is a six by eight um, open pocket. And it says laundry schedule. Sort today, wash later, fold maybe, iron, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> and if you know me, you know, like if I look on the like, label of clothes and it says there's ironing, I won't even you buy don't that buy thing. It. I won't buy that thing. You don't buy it. I just can't iron. I don't have the patience for it. I used to make Chris iron his own clothes. I wouldn't do it for him. Mainly because I don't know how. Iron? What does that mean? Yeah. I don't and even know this what that one, word is. I think that this these green uh, this green floral goes nicely with the stripes, and so I'm going to use that there again. But the, I could just use the sheet all by itself, which I do on the other side. So I'm, I'm going to set that paper aside. And then this That's paper, this I just need that circle. This is, um, I'm going to set this piece of paper aside, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to make, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to make two pockets. I'm going to cut it at three inches on this side and at five and a half inches on this side so it's going to be a diagonal cut and then I'll have two pockets and they will sit like this and I can put a recipe card in there which is what I'm going to do or you could put a photo in there it just slides right in see out of nowhere um, out of nowhere and then on the card. back side I'm, I do the other pocket so I get two pockets from the one piece of paper so I'm going to set that piece of paper aside because that great. needs to happen and then I go over to this paper, which just has the polka dots. And this is where I'm going to use this great paper that I, I really like. I love that. Because I, I do, when I have, well, now it's harder because my hair's shorter. But when I had longer hair, I, I was a completely messy bun person. Rebecca says she needs this kit. I hope so, Rebecca. I hope you like it very much. I think it, you know what, you know why it would be great for Rebecca? Because she's a real mom. She is a real mom. I think it's good for anyone who's real. <laughs> well, who's real, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not all moms are real. Some not, of them are fake. Well, well, I mean, like magazine ready. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm never magazine I'm ready. I'm never magazine ready. If a magazine was going to come into my house or a photographer for a magazine, because magazines can't walk, but like if a magazine was going <laughs> to, magazine photographer, can't. I would need a few days notice. Like, just I would need a going. few years notice. Yeah. I'd have a heart attack. You ever, like those organizational shows where they uh, have the person. Um, I would love for them to come and do my house, but I think then are we good then for the rest of the? Um, let's see. I'm just that flipping one's through. Good. That has that's good. That's good. That's good. That's oh, good. Oh, you did oh. the hearts as another pocket. Oh, on the ledger thing, right? Now these I did different. A different kind of pocket. We got all kinds of pockets here, guys. I cut this paper in half, and then on the other side the plaid paper, Rach. Okay, the plaid paper. Um, I cut this one in half, and I used a circle punch. I used it. I. I. Oh. Since Rebecca's with us and Krista's with us, recognize this. It's my Stampin' Up! 2-inch circle punch. Who's ever seen that? <laughs> Me! And I used it to cut a little notch in this. And then this pocket I cut a little bit bigger at 5 and a half inches. And I did a double pocket on one side. And I did a single on the other. And again, these are going to be for my recipe cards. I'm completing this album. I've done it for myself. And I'm completing one for my mother. And I'm going to put recipes of you know the, the comfort foods she used to make for us. Um, Which I'm going to have to take pictures of. Yeah. And then at the very back of the album, I'm going to use the hearts here. And then um, on this side, I'm going to use this. And then this is what you have so left So these over. are all, so I've set aside. Now these are all papers I need for later. So I'm going to set these aside. But I still have, and you think, oh my gosh, you only have three sheets left. Don't worry, because it's plenty. And I'll show you why. Because we still have all those element cards. And um, and lots yeah. of stickers. And lots of stickers. So here is the album with all of those things done. I cut my 4x6 out of the uh, navy hearts. I glued this onto the front of the page. I glued all my those papers in place here. And it's ready to go. I did make a mistake because you know what I did? Look what I did on the back. <laughs> Oopsie! I forgot to put the floral. Don't forget the spine. And then also I wanted to show you this. I did cut... Um, a, a, yeah, this this is a, one of the four by six cards you get, and I cut a strip of it off, just the polka dots, because I thought 
the kind of album that this is, it's not a, it's such a casual, fun album. Like, yeah. instead of having, like, you know, 2017 Volume 6, you know, <laughs> like, we just... You have to say it like that, too. Yeah, you do. Volume 6. Volume 6. It's, um, <laughs> it's just the polka dot edition. It's the polka dot volume, you know? Yeah. It's like, what? So that's what this album is all about. <laughs> so we have all of our pockets in. We've <coughs> chosen all of our full six by eight pages and adhered it to it. Um, what kind of um, adhesive did you use to glue those those in? I'm using my old standby, Tombow Mono Liquid. No, Mol Okay, wait. Where does the multi go? Multi Tombow. Tombow Multi mono. Mono Tombow multi mono. seems to be kind multi, of contradictory there. It does. Single multi <laughs> liquid. We'll link to it. Yeah, we're going to link to you it. You can get anyway, it on the Amazon. It's Tombow. It's a white glue. and we, It's awesome for adhering paper to chipboard. And so that's what I used for that. Okay. <laughs> for adhering photos and stuff, I'm using um, the Tombow Extreme Permanent Adhesive, okay. <clears throat> which translates in, in uh, Stampin' Up! to Fast Fuse. The Fast Fuse. Uh huh. It's a safe Correct. Stuff. Um, <clears throat> so I showed, I showed him the pockets, right? Yes, you did. Okay. So the next thing that I did was, um, I had all, so I had all my things glued in place, all my full pages, and I had all these empty pockets. Um, and I started looking, I took my photos, my 109 photos, <laughs> and I started sorting them between pictures like this one that need a full four by six, um, pocket pocket because the, the the image in the photo goes all the way to the edges right so there's not really a way I can make this into a square without like cutting out my mother and father which that's well, just rude you know that's so, not very nice yeah <clears throat> and so I started like sorting pictures between ones that needed to be big or <laughs> in rectangles and ones that didn't that so could be in squares that could be in squares because I do have most of my four by six are this kind of um, horizontal orientation oh, that's good the landscape there are a couple three by fours that are like that, but throughout the album, these is what you have the most of. So I went through first with my, I took my, um, my four by six cards. Oh, sorry. And I took my photos and I just kind of had them here next to each other, my big pile of photos here and this, and then I started going through them and going, okay, I absolutely have to have this photo in. So that's going in and I'm going to put one on the back. And then I said, okay, you know what? I want for this four by six pocket, I'm going to put a recipe card in that. So I have a post-it note here and I got out my post-it notes and I wrote recipe beef and potatoes because my mom makes this beef and potatoes dish that I always asked for for my birthday. And this is an album for her and I wanted her to know I really love that recipe. So I'm going to write that recipe on that card and stick that in there. So, and then I keep going. Post-it notes. You use post-it notes a lot in your process, yes? Indeed, Indeed. I do. I do. I mark. And, and what I would do, too, sometimes was I, if I didn't know exactly what photo, but I knew that I needed a 4 by 6 and I'm working on 4 by 6s with mm -hmm. this pass through the album, I'd take a post-it note and I would just mark the page. And i go, I don't know what I'm going to put on this page, but, but I'm going to find something. Yeah. I need a 4 by 6 Here's what I did with that. Uh, floral layout. I did a I did a picture with with just the flowers peeking out. Nice. So it's not too repetitive because the image was right, right there. Right. So this just kind of calls back on that in a, in a more subtle way. And then it has this is Mary Jo going through her trek through Spain. Through Spania. She was a pilgrim. Spania. Um, and so and then I started like I would probably on the big pages I would take like another post-it note and mark it because those I have to figure out like what photo I'm going to put and where on the page. Whereas this pass, I'm really going for pockets because I know I'm, right. just gonna, I'm gonna put a four by six in here and then I grab a card and put it in there. And I just work my way through the book looking for places to put those four, those big pictures that need to be big. So you just kind of skip over everything right. at this point. And, it's, right and now this is just a just page through. I'm just looking, oh, okay, I can put a four by six there. I'm not sure which one, but I think, yeah, I think I know I'm gonna, you know, maybe the, maybe the one with Mary Jo and the kids cooking. And so I'd go like, oh, okay, MJ, and kids cooking. What was that called? Oh, oh no, that was the, a different the, one. No, this was the weed and feed. They 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 did and a I weed just and put feed. a post it right there, and then I and then I keep going, and I keep going all the way through until I've reached the end of the album, and I've either have four by sixes that I've put into pages, pages, or I have pages marked, marked, all right. Okay. And then I'm gonna go and make some decisions. So I'm gonna go, okay, so which four by sixes, and I. With these pages, 
The reason that I, I would hold off sometimes is that I like to coordinate the colors that are in the picture with the colors with the colors that are um, uh, that coordinate with the papers. Or? Yeah, so okay. that the so that there's no clashing going on. That's just one of my pet peeves. You know, one of the things that I do, like with this this really busy floral. I chose, you know, Becky with a black horse and a white border around it to more, kind of to balance it. To kind of balance it out. So that's why these kind of require more thought. And so what I would do is like go through my photos and lay it out and go, okay, these three would will all work here. And then I just would choose one and then I'd keep going. Again, Sometimes I'm not she worried. would ask me. I'm not worried about <laughs> chronology. I'm not worried about like the subject. I'm not trying to stick to like the day that we all went to the park. Right. I'm right. just like my favorite pictures. This is our life. Yeah. This was well, I'm our trying life. to capture the feeling and flavor of our our home life. So, um, yeah. So it's just it's so that I go all through it for that doing um, four by sixes, and then after that, I was ready to kind of look at pictures for other sizes. So is that so, what, when you're when you were talking earlier? You uh -huh. mentioned the recursive. Right. Flow. So what I'm saying is, so like this first system was I would page through it for four by sixes and I'd look at inserting the photos, I'd look at inserting the cards and then I'd figure out what photos would go on these flat pages, these these like the, papers. The full six by eight pages. Yeah, there's the print papers. Okay. So that, and then I'm gonna repeat that. I'm gonna, and again, using post-it notes to kind of remind myself where I am and what pages I still need to have photos for, I'm gonna go back again and this time, I'm gonna look at my photos that I saw, I thought could be cropped. Okay. And I'm gonna take the ones that were four by sixes that maybe can be four by four squares of some size. And I I don't know if you can see, but right next to me here, oh, I have my little stamp and trimmer. Yes. Right. So <laughs> one of our top ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. And I would and I'm right here, and I'm just, I'm gonna like cut something to four by four and then slip it in the pocket. So you just trim them and put them in. Trim them and put it in. The same thing. I'm gonna page through looking for four by fours. Thank, Thank you, Krista. Krista says it's cute. I'm gonna page through looking for places where four by fours can fit, and where I think they might go best. And what's interesting about this process is now the second time I page through, I'm a little more familiar with the photos. Right. I'm a little more familiar with the order of the pages. And so I start to think, oh, you know what? I remember that picture. Yeah. Or oh, I know a great picture that would go here. Like okay. there's this one. There's this one card that had something said something like "I heart naps," <laughs> which we all do, right? Which, who doesn't so love a good nap? I started going through, going, "Where's that card?" Because I want. I found a picture of Truman napping with my mom's dog. He wouldn't go to sleep. He wouldn't take a nap unless Miss Grady, my mom's little Norwich Terrier, went with him. And so there oh, it is. Oh, there it is. So I, that was one of the pictures and I had a little poster here that said Truman with Miss Grady. And here's my husband who falls asleep because he exhausts himself at work. Exhausts So this is our Christmas work. celebration. Eric passed out cold. He's not from drinking though, just asleep. Just tired. Yeah. And it says I heart naps. And so I knew from, because I had gone through it before. Because you've been through it before. Like thematically that would fit. So there's that, so I went through it again and did that for four by fours. And then I went through again with three by threes. Wow. And what do we do? We cut down the photos, we start picking, putting them in pockets, we look at places where there's three by threes can fit, we start putting in, like some of these four by four cards actually cut down, like here's one that you could cut down to a three by three. Yeah. So okay. this one you probably could too, I bet that's three by three. That's probably three by three yeah. right inside there. Right, yeah. so this one could cut down, right? So I think I cut this one to a two by two actually. Um, so there's, there's different, this one. So when you're looking at these cards, you also need to think about what if, because mm -hmm. you need three by threes, you need four by fours, right. you need two by twos. Think about how you can utilize them in different ways. Right. This one has four elements here. Well, I didn't need another four by four card because I had enough photos for that. So I cut this into two by twos. Oh, I love and it. And I use that in my album. Um, so you just kind of keep going through size by size. <laughs> Yay, Krista! Krista you know, loves naps. Isn't it interesting how when I was a kid I hated oh, napping, hated and naps. now I just want to find time for a nap. I always want a nap, but as a kid you never want a nap. I don't understand that. And then at the very end, what you're going to find is you're going to be down to your two by two sizes, and this gets a little tricky because two by two pictures are really small. They are small, and sometimes you're not going to have a photo that you can crop down to two by two, or that if you shrink it down, you might lose what right. what the image is. Really. We we so for most of these two by two pictures, actually, we I scanned them and they're mm -hmm. full size. 
We brought them into InDesign. InDesign, but you can use, I could have used photos, I could have used Lightroom, I could have used... A lot of those photo organizations... Pages, Word? Yeah, Word. just make a two-by-two two box. Probably, yeah. Yeah, and you can put the images in there. If you just put there. make a two-by-two two photo box, put your images in there and then print them on photo paper. Yeah. And then you can get them to be the portion of the image that you want and the size that fits for a two-by-two. Two. And so um, that's how I did this. And... I haven't yet even gone into stickers. We're not even doing that Woo! right now. You'll notice we're just kind of getting the lay of the land and make, I wanted this to be kind of random. Like here's story when she was a baby. Here's me when I was a baby. Here's my brother and he was graduating from high school. Here's me as a teenager. Right. Here's me in college. You know, here's my mother's garden from last May. You know, so it's not. Yeah, what's that top corner one? Oh, this one here you're saying? Yeah, that one. Okay, what so the heck the, is that? Here's That's the creepy. Thing. Here's a story about my house. It's not creepy, it's funny. It's creepy. It's so funny. What There's do you a know? hand coming out of your ceiling. What do you know about it? This I've is... seen too many horror movies. <laughs> it's I, crazy. When I was young, there was a big water bubble. Like, the, the roof leaked, and it created a water bubble in the roof of our family room, and it broke. And so the... The paint, you know, kind of opened up. So we couldn't afford to fix it. So my mother went and got this ceramic hand and just screwed it into the ceiling. <laughs> so we had like this art piece <laughs> in the ceiling. And so, yeah, we grabbed a picture of that for sure. Oh, my gravy. Um, so, yeah, so. Um, That's just creepy. Right. So now I'm, I'm actually in the process of looking for two-by-twos because I haven't put all my two-by-twos in here. And like, so I'm just looking around, like that looks a little plain to me. So I might take, um, let's see, here's one. Here's a picture of me and my mom when uh, we, we had the zucchini bumper crop. I'm gonna stick that in there. Let's just have a little picture right there. Oh, and it goes with the little succulent plants. Yeah, and it goes with the plants. It's kind of a gardening theme in right there. <laughs> see, um, Krista agrees with me. She says that's creepy. Okay, sorry, Krista. <laughs> I guess we were kind of a creepy family, a little bit different. Um, this one I kind of like, this is just papers right here. But I kind of, kind of liking it. But you know what? Those are those squares that you cut right, apart. Right, they are. And what I'm going to do, though, is just in case, I'm going to put a marker here that tells me that I do have two by twos here if I want to go back and look because I'm maybe I have a favorite photo that I haven't fit right. in anywhere else. And so I'll come back to see this. So I'm going to mark this as like maybe. But I kind of like it the way it is. But, of course, pictures take precedent over um, paper. I mean, that's just the rule of scrapbooking in Sarah's world. Um, world. And so here's like a little, I'm going to put this little, this is Broadway Bob, a little puppy I had when I was a kid. I'm going to put him cute. right in there. And maybe, here, here's another pet I another had as pet. a kid, Donald the Muscovy Duck. Meanest duck ever. He would bite the backs of my legs if I went outside. So I had, I didn't want to tell you, the routine we had to go through in order to be, enjoy our backyard. Okay. <laughs> while Donald was alive. <laughs> Eventually, we just let him loose in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park, <laughs> which is not even okay to do. You just can't go and, like, release your pets. We didn't know what to do. He was a horrifying, and he was the size of a goose. He's he was huge. huge. <clears throat> but yeah. didn't he have a wife? He did. He had a wife, And what Daisy. was her name? Daisy. And what were their children's names? Huey, Dewey, and Louie. But they were not cute like the Disney ducks. <laughs> they were not that cute. So I'm going through now. I know I'm going to put uh, recipe cards in here. Put one. You know, I'm going to show them how to. Yeah, I'm going to trim this up. What I did, we. This we, is a free printable. This is a free printable that we're including with. Um, well, it's not on our site. It's Anyone can use it. You don't yeah. have to get the kit. But it's just a recipe card, and the, the colors coordinate with Domestic Bliss. And what I just did was. Um, I'm just going to fussy cut this a little bit. And. Truman lost his marker. <laughs> super easy fussy cutting. Well, that's kind of a lousy, fussy cut, but you know what? It's domestic bliss. It's domestic so bliss. It doesn't have to be perfect. No. So um, these are just going to kind of scooch in there, Should and it'll be... lines on the back. Oh, okay. And Rachel's so proud of this. She designed this. I, so I it. And it has lines on the back, so you can write your you recipe can continue. out. continue. Yeah. So you have an actually enough space, which a lot of recipe cards don't give yes. you enough space, so that's kind of cool. Thank you. And again, I'm paging through. I'm looking for two-by-twos. Two, oh, you know what? I'm going to make a little note here that this, there's too much paper here. I need three by threes. No, those are four by fours. Um, I'm going to come back to that. And I'm going to come back to that okay. just to, to remind me because this is too much it's paper for me. Paper. It's all paper. She needs a picture. I do. You need a picture, people. Yeah. And um, this is all four by fours. Oh, here we go. Here's some up here. Now I have both sides to take care of. Oh, 
And I wanted to show you this too. These little half circles are oh. what, when I punched those pockets, I saved the half circles. <laughs> and she I just saves put, everything. Until I'm done, I do. I save everything. And so I'm just going to put, here's a picture of Sis and John, their family members that are no longer with us, but this they were very animated in the holidays. And here is my sister and me when we used to have to rinse out the laundry when we were camping in the big garbage can. And then on the back side, I have Becky, my sister, riding Aggie, her horse. And, and here is another picture of Aggie. Oh. Look at that. And so there. So there I have those two by twos filled up. Here's another recipe pocket that I'm going to fill later on. And I think I'm going to do a little journaling right here. There's a That's little card. True. That's that a good journaling. It's one. actually just the back side of this paper, but it had a big, it was the laundry printable. Oh, yes. The big one. And so I didn't need another one of those. So it just made a nice pink border there. Okay. So now I have all of these. And so I'm actually kind of. Wait, here's yeah. some more of the two by Yeah. Two so papers. I'm just going to take my, I've cut down some of those extra sheets of paper and I'm just going to kind of randomly fill in. Um, and here's another half circle from that, those punches. I'm going to stick that in there and well, these are all kind of similar. That's okay. And then I can, um, do the opposite down here. Some, could do a little journaling on one of these too. Yeah, sure. Here's one that's like little <laughs> vacuum cleaners and stuff. Here's just a little piece of that one. This one could be fun to put a sticker or something in maybe? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. I'm going to do this right here. And there you go. And there is that page. Looking pretty schnazzy if you ask me. I'll do some journaling right here because this is my daughter's graduation. And I might just say Story's 8th grade graduation. Nice. I like that some of these papers so, are simple enough that you can do some journaling over them. Absolutely. Now I have now I have a couple pictures here that I was hoping to fit in my album, so now I can go back. Like I know I had that four by four spot here, and it has too much. So maybe I want to put in, like maybe right here, I'm going to put in um, this picture of my mom and me. This was when I was in a junior in high school. I'm going to do that one there, and then I have this great picture. It's a picture of that was hanging in my mom's kitchen as long as I remember, and it's this. It's just this print that she had framed. It's this kind of this woman who's kind of haggard and she's looking just kind of beat up I and mean, like like life has gotten kind of like overwhelmed her. Kind of like took and over. it says, "Don't be slouchy and dirty about your house. Try to be neat. You can do it if you want to." Which is my mom's humor. This is she's. You can do it if you, you want to. You can do to. it if you want to. So I'm going to try to find a, another three by four where this will fit because I really want it to be in this album. So, Especially because this is for her. It is. This so is she'll for get her. a kick out of that. Yeah, she'll she'll think that's funny. I don't even know, I don't even know if she knows I took a picture of this. I don't <laughs> even know when I did. I think I, it was my old Instamatic camera. Okay, so here I'm going to do it right here. I'm going to slide it right in there, and it's right above the family gathering for Thanksgiving. So that's nice. perfect. Nice. So that's basically the whole system. You know, we just go through one size at a time, looking for the it. pockets. I love that. Right. I love that process too because it, it gives you a chance to really get familiar with it and, and and go over things. Now I still have this whole sheet of stickers. Stickers! So I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Um, I was just going to go like in here. I was going to um, pull my, these papers out one at a time. There's all these sayings here that say like our house and I'm just going to kind of... Um, We're really wiggly. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I wiggling? Sorry, the guys. We're really wiggly because we keep touching I don't know the table. Why. And every time you touch the table. Yeah. Okay. Sorry if I'm making anyone seasick. I'm just going to continue um, putting these stickers, these little word stickers, into these squares, um, and then I can do um, like on this on these pages. I'm going to embellish with some um, with just some you know. Whatever, like I have, let's see, here's, these are a bunch of college kids, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to pull this out, and I'm going to go a little heart and a coffee cup. Ta-da! And let's call that embellished. It's really simple, it's really beautiful. Embellished. 
Embellished. You said, let's call it embellished. So I said embellished. Oh. <laughs> Oh, she's so funny. Okay? I so, am funny. Anyway, so the, again, so your last going through is just to kind of get all your stickers in place. I'm going to take these love stickers. I'm going to put them right here. Awesome. And you show your other page? Yeah, let me... Um, for you. So I can, so you can see here. I put love thing here, and then on the back, I've just put the words. I love all the little word stickers. I think that's a perfect yeah. little accent. Um, and I dinner again with the kids with their cooking stuff so I just kind of went through and found stickers that I thought worked home sweet home they're painting the bathroom oh and oh yeah this is a great element thank you Rach um, we actually have stickers that fit these dividers perfectly and they're right here and you can put them wherever you want and then there's some that are for the top of the page it's a different kind and I think I put mine on one of these pages where is it Where'd it go, Rachel? I don't know, right there. No, that's a recipe card. That's a recipe card. Where did it go? Come here. Come here, little guy. Come here, little tab. Come on. Come, Come on. on. Come here. <laughs> you know why? It's because it's one on one of those full sheets and it scooched down. And oh. It's little... Oh, here it is. Oh, right there in the front. Right there. Yeah. It's right there. And I you, you have to stick a sticker to the back side too or else you'll have sticky. Right. Right there. Right. right. So you have to, okay. It has to be on both sides. But... Those are the little tab stickers. There's a little border sticker that you can, you know, cut up into pieces and use wherever. There's tons of word stickers. Um, it's just a lot. I love them all. And they're really cute, and they work with everything. And, like, you may think, like, well, what do you mean? A needle and thread and buttons? I don't have any sewing pictures. You know what? In this album, it doesn't, it matter. doesn't matter. It ain't no thing. It just, you do whatever. <laughs> just stick it on there. It doesn't matter if my horse's picture is right next to the typewriter. No one cares. No one cares. Because it's just, it's the colors and the and the, the fun images that the kind feel. of make it all, yeah, make it all kind of cute. So that in, is that. Do you want to yeah. switch back to the front view so you can sign off? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, okay, so everyone close your eyes. We're going for a ride. Wee! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the tripod tripod is caught and it is crazy. Hello. <laughs> Here I am again. So that in a nutshell is this. I um, I will write out the instructions that kind of cycle that you go through. I think you'll find it a really quick and easy way to scrapbook this album without getting like lost and, and forgetting what step you're on. You don't want to get lost in translation. Because all you can go is, oh yeah, I did my four by sixes. I'm working on my four by fours now, right? So again, check it out in our shop. I hope you will. I hope you like seeing it. And thank you so much for stopping by. It was a pleasure. We love you guys. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye.